from the park. Frankie, say hey. Hey. All right, it's battle box time. Yes, and this may as well be live. One take at it, we're gonna just do it. Yeah, and we would have filmed this from the car, except this month is kind of huge. It's, it, it has to be out on a table. It's got some length to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, battle box 92. Frankie, you wanna you, you wanna get the unboxing here? Yes. What? This has been my favorite knife that's been in one of these battle boxes, the dead fish. I used it camping. It's a really good kitchen knife. It's a good kitchen knife. We've been using <laughs> it just at home in yes. the kitchen. Yeah. I like it. Okay. Anyways. I can't believe I can't believe you're using it to unbox, but go ahead. Well, I wanted to use one of the knives that came in the box before. Yeah, that's the that's the dead fish knife. It's a perfect use for that knife. <laughs> okay. Blade blade is well suited for a lot of kitchen tasks. Uh -huh. but, okay. Okay. Yeah, this is a monster box. Okay. What do we have here? Let's just get into the mission brief number ninety-two. Yep. We're gonna just start with what you get in the basic. Go ahead and read that. What is this? Yeah, buddy. Fall is finally here. Cooler weather is on the way and outdoor adventures are on the horizon. This month we have a very long awaited and anticipated item, a way to kick back and relax in the outdoors. Find your way in or out, maintain and conceal gear, and of course, the ever so needed bladed tools. Turn the page and let's get it on. Yeah. I don't think you said that as smoothly as yeah. you could. No. Let's get it on. Let's yeah. get it on. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay, anyway. whatever. Okay. No, this is uh, the basic box. Then we'll get to the advanced, the mm -hmm. pro box. This is the pro plus. Yes. That we're looking at here. So, mm -hmm. okay. Well, what's first? Okay. Battle box trail markers. You get 10 of them. Mark your way. Oh, I've seen these before. Oh, they're like neon too. Okay. Yeah. Battle box trail markers are an excellent lightweight addition to anyone's preps. Perfect for creating a crumb trail when exploring unfamiliar areas, tracking a wounded animal and marking last signs of blood, marking a location for others to find, or clipped to the back of group members' clothing on a hike in the dark. Possibilities are endless. I love these things. They're a $8 value. Yeah, those are neat. I need to put them on my phone so I don't lose it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, like you could put these on a backpack or a yeah, hat or something. Oh, yeah. It's kind of windy here too. Um, yeah, those are neat. Seven ninety nine. How many do you get? Is it ten? Ten. Of them? Yeah. Ten of them? Yeah. Well, those are some strong clips. Yeah, those are. There it is. Yeah. Well, and you could use it for like hanging stuff too. You could hook something to it and then put paracord through this, and then you could hang like clothing while you're camping or something too. Yeah. Go ahead and um. Cut it. Oh, what's the knife? Maybe I should just use that knife. Well, let's jump ahead. Okay. The Fox America's knife? FE043. It's actually out of the box. Yes. This is the box that it came in. We're jumping ahead. Well, I want to use it, that's why. Oh, there's Micarta scale overlay. Can everybody see that? It's a flipper. Okay. Oops. A knife in the basic box Yeehaw! Yeehaw. This Mikado frame lock folder designed by Russ Comer is a perfect down and dirty get to work EDC knife. It's just like black stone wash. It reminds me of like a basic Kershaw, doesn't it? Okay, to you? what is the blade still? I didn't hear. Um, 8CR 13MOV. Okay, so it's that kind of knife. Yeah, it, it is. This is part of the basic box. Yeah, it is. So, exactly. You said uh, uh, um, a Kershaw? Yeah. Doesn't it just remind you of the all black stone, um, black wash? Knife? Kershaw's? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. But yeah, these things are neat. <laughs> we could use these around the house, huh? Yeah, we really <laughs> <laughs> I get lost a lot. <laughs> I'm going to put them in here so they stay in sure. little okay. spots. Okay. So then what you also get is this. Our box got all uh, mangled. I know. There. PFC aerosol, earth scent. I've been, for years I've looked for a gear lubricant that doesn't smell like a science experiment. I have first-hand experience of the scent spooking game, but this is where I've, this is what I've been looking for. A great product without the stank. Without the stank? Which is what you always want. You well, never want the stank. 
Okay, so it's a um, it's a lubricant without the odors, mm -hmm. uh, uh, apparently. Yes. Go ahead and spray this blade. Okay. I want to see. I want to see what earth smells like. Yeah. <laughs> see what earth smells like. Go ahead and spray that blade a little bit. Okay. I'm curious. Does it have an odor? Not really. It just smells like... Not much to it. Not much, yeah. It almost smells like um, firewood. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, there's not much of an odor Earth to it. Earth adds, PFC Earth adds an earth cover scent to an already proven formula. So it's a good just overall lubricant. So. Yeah, okay. All right. There's that. Now this is part of the basic box. Um, one more item in the basic box. Yes. Gear Aid Camo Form Reusable Fabric Wrap. Fabric wrap? Yes. So you can camouflage firearms, anything that you, like scopes, anything that you want to not be shiny and noticeable. But what I was thinking this is, you guys will just agree with me, I bet you. It reminds me of Coban, which is kind of what it is. So it's like a camo Coban. Which is a medical tape. Yeah. Yeah. It sticks to itself. Mm hmm Okay. So you could use this, I think, even for like wrapping a sprained ankle or anything like that, too. You just wouldn't be able to find your ankle afterwards. <laughs> It'd be super camouflaged, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. But it is, it's nice stuff. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it sticks to itself. Mm -hmm. Did we, uh... And it's reusable too, which is always nice. Yeah. Because Use to protect and quiet gear, uh, clanking objects so you mm -hmm. quiet mm -hmm. stuff down. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. That stuff is a uh, sixteen dollar value. So that's what you get in the basic box. Yeah. Moving to the advanced box, so you get everything that we've just shown. Plus, I'm actually really excited about this. Yes. I've always wanted to have a hammock. One of these lightweight ones too. This is the Climate Tra Traverse Hammock in the single use. But I like I gotta say, I've not used too. I've not used a hammock too much. I have used them in the past, but I was a mm -hmm. kid. Yeah. I've not used one as an adult. These are really I've always wanted to use one while you're so you can lounge in the woods. This is a fifty dollar value. And it comes with everything that you could possibly need, too. That's nice. So it has the straps that you need to hang it with. Go ahead and read that. I absolutely love using hammocks while lounging in the woods. They're quick and easy to set up. Take very little space in the pack, and they're just so dang comfortable and fun. Climate is introducing a new approach to hammocks with a single panel design instead of the traditional three panel design. In addition to looking pretty cool, this creates a more comfortable sleeping position. It also means less stretching and sagging over time. Over time, okay. I do like that color. I do too. <laughs> it's pretty. See, look at that. And yes, we could have used this camping, and I want to use this at the cabin next time we go. I'm gonna set it up. I'll be we fun. have a uh, we have a popular cabin destination that we like, and yes, this could be used right outside there. Right outside that cabin. I wonder if we could hang it up in the catio. <laughs> at home where the cats are, are at, yeah. <laughs> they would be neat too. So that it costs $49.99. And look, both of us could fit in it too. It has a capacity of 200 pounds. I'm sorry, not 200 pounds, 400 pounds. It better have at least 200, <laughs> yeah. Let's okay. Let's this stuff out. Here. Okay, this, this next item, is why the uh, box is so long, huh? Yes, it is. I'll set this aside. Okay, I'm gonna, well, and what's neat about it too is that the bag is part of the hammock, so it just goes into itself. So yeah, nice? okay, it's part of it? Mm -hmm. All right, there's not even a separate bag? Nope. Nice. Which is handy, because sometimes you lose those bags. Okay, I want to use that soon. Jumping ahead a little bit. There's always some coupons there. Okay, so what do we got here? Yeah, what the Gear heck? Scope survival bow and arrow set. It's a bow and arrow set. Oh, ah! 
Sorry. There, there goes our. Uh, okay. There goes our lubricant. We won't be able to smell. That's what you said last night. That's what I said. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get into this. Yeah, this thing is big. Okay. Have you ever shot a bow and arrow? Yes. I have it's, too. Um, been at least a decade or so. <laughs> it's probably been longer for that for me. But my brother bought a really nice bow once and we would play down below the house and shoot into haystacks. Oh, okay. Your brother did? Uh huh. Me too. Me and him. Okay. So, Does it in so it, I'm guessing it includes the, the actual heads? Arrowheads? Yeah, let's see here. Where is everything? Here's the assembly guide. I'm going to read this real quick. Time has come, the item you've been waiting for. It's breakdown bow time, baby. Oh, yeah. I kind of typed that in my ring announcer voice, lol. <laughs> <laughs> ring announcer voice. It's break time, Bo, or something like that. Now read it again out loud with your ring announcer voice. It works, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Anyways, back to the breakdown, Bo, baby, something like that. The Pro, the pro Box <laughs> features the Gear Scope Survival Bow and Arrow set. This bow has a draw weight of 40 pounds at around 28 inch draw. 32.5 inch arrows and weighs 14 grains per inch. Okay, I don't know how to put it together. I would have to read the instructions. The complete kit includes a carry bag, bow limbs, riser, hardware to assemble, Allen bow, or sorry, Allen key, bow string, and three arrows with points. Having a breakdown bow and practicing with it often could very well be what separates you from the rest of the pack in a survival situation. Not to mention archery is a fun skill and sport to practice. It's also a lot of fun with the family in the backyard, right Frankie? Right, yes it is. I've or during it. spare time while camping. This bow kit is built very well and can surely take some abuse. This is a $75 bow kit. Wow, wow that's I didn't, neat. I didn't realize you could get these these uh, kits for less than 100 bucks. Well look, I put together the arrow. It's kind of a mean looking arrow. That is. So these, these are the real deal. Mm -hmm. Wow. We'll need to put it together at home. I think we should play with it one of these days. I think we should too. 32 inch um, arrows. I'll set that back down. Yeah. Here's the actual. Now what is this? This is, is this called? Is this the riser, or are those the risers? I don't know what they're called. Bow limbs? I'm guessing these are the bow limbs. These are the limbs. This is, I think... That's the riser? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. As you guys can tell, we're bow hunters. <laughs> we're skilled bow hunters? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's something we could get familiar with, mm -hmm. though. I think it'd be, be fun. careful with that arrowhead. Yeah, maybe I'll in take the it bag. Back off. I'm gonna take it back off and put it in the container. So you get three of those? Yeah. Okay. Alright. We could camouflage it. We could camouflage it with our new um, camouflage tape. Camo tape? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Set that aside. Okay, then what's the last item? So that's part of the Pro Box. Uh -huh. So now we get into the Pro Plus, which is the last item, I believe. Yes. All Ooh, right, sneaking ahead. Knife. The Whoops Bad Boy. Okay, I like the name of it. All right, I'll read it in a second here. But Bad Boys for Life. Did we already? Yeah, it's we got right it here. there. Here, you can use this to unbox it. It's all, it's all newbie. Well, I didn't have a towel. I didn't, I didn't have something yes. to... Uh, to use it with. Hey, you're the one that sprayed it. I know, I sprayed a lot of it too. <laughs> and it doesn't smell like a science experiment. Remember? No, it doesn't. What is this little thing? Okay, it's kind of cute. It is. I like it. It looks bigger in the pictures. <laughs> this right? Is, okay, this is not a cheap blade. It's 119 bucks. I'm yeah. going to go ahead and read it. Okay, go ahead. Wooks created the bad boy as a, pretty, as a premium EDC essential carry knife. This compact fixed blade with an American walnut handle. Okay, so it's an American 
um, walnut. And D2 steel blade includes an Italian leather sheath. The best knife is the one you only have with you and the bad boy is destined to be on your belt for a lifetime. The easily controlled point and long blade of the bad boy drop point makes a great all-purpose option. Okay, it is really cute. That is neat. I like it. It fits my hand really nicely. Let's show the audience. Okay. I told you, bad boy for life. It's super light, isn't it? You'll have it on your belt loop for life. Wow, this is pretty cool. I really like it. It's really pretty. Yes, it's D2, but out in the wilderness, I guess D2 is preferred because it will hold its edge. It'll hold its edge, and then we have the lubricant that we can keep it from rusting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And actually, look at the edge on that. Can you see that? That looks really nice, too. Can we do a cut test on anything? Here. Box edge. Ooh, okay. Because, yes, it does look pretty sharp. Yeah, it really does. It is really nice. I like the... Here, take some off the top there. It really fits my hand nicely. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, put it in... Do you like how the wood feels in your hand? I do, Frankie, yes. I know. <laughs> um, for me, this is a three-finger knife. Yeah. And the jimping is fairly aggressive on the top. Or you can choke way up. Blade length is 2.3 quarters inch. Handle length, three and a half. Well, what's the cost on this entire box? $169.99. Okay, $169.99. Mm -hmm. The blade itself is $119. I was going to yeah. say, this is this is two-thirds the cost of the entire box right there is that blade. Yeah. Um, and you're getting all the other stuff. That is really nice. All the other gear. All right. I like the gold inserts, too. I like it. It's a cute little knife. Let me see a, a few of the specs on that. Yeah, it's D2 with the Rockwell uh, Rockwell hardness of 5860 satin finish, real American walnut, 3.2 ounces. It definitely feels very light mm -hmm. in the hand. The overall length is six and a quarter inches. Yeah, and it's full tang. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Felix and I read about full tang versus rat tail tang. Just this last weekend, you were, <laughs> Frankie was reading a a survival book, a bug out bag survival book. <laughs> Her and our dog Felix. Felix were reading it together. Yeah, that is nice. I like it. I like that blade a lot, yeah. I do too. I'll claim it. No, oh, I already claimed these. Oh, Shoot, right. you did. <laughs> did I? Okay. I don't know. I didn't you hear did you. did it before I did it. You could have got away with that one. I know. I already did. It fits my hand more. It is a full, full size knife for your hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like it. That's well, let really us know pretty. what you guys think. One hundred and sixty-nine ninety-nine, um, and you're getting a lot of gear, but you're getting one really cool blade. Mhm. Mm I kind of want to play with the bow and arrow too. Yeah. In our backyard, we could. We could, yeah. We could mark the trail to our house. We could. And we could um, actually wrap it and make it look really sweet. I think it. Yeah, we could. Make it quiet. And then set up our hammock at the cabin. And keep everything lubricated. Oh, yeah. Like we say, guys, one take. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to put some of this excess lube on my bad boy. Oh, nice. Good choice. Um, we didn't spray the other side, so get the other side, too. Oh, I did. It's, <laughs> it's coated. <laughs> okay. It is coated for show. Yeah, nice. that is cool. I like that a lot. I do too. This this lube is very um, jelly esque. Uh, I like your I like your description. <laughs> How about viscous? Viscous. It is very viscous. So you do get some coupons. I like the Carnivore Club there. We really need to join the Carnival Carnivore Club. We have yet to use it, but we want to. I still want this one, too. So it's then Survival kids. Outdoor Gear tested, now streaming on Netflix. 
The WAN load. Isn't that the one for kids? Yes, I want it. <laughs> yeah, outdoor adventure box for kids. Okay. It smells very earthy. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't have like, well, it doesn't smell like a science experiment like they say, but it smells earthy. It almost smells like, like firewood. Well, that being said though, I like the smell of like EDCI. Don't you? EDCI? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It smells good. But if you're outdoors hunting, right. you don't want something like no, that. You want no, something you like, don't. you want something like this. Might All as right. well lube them up. Nice. Okay. We'll put links in. Check out the Battle Box website. Let them know we sent you. I like that. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. Let's box this up and let's go. Uh, let's go shoot some hay bales that we don't own. <laughs> no, we can or get pumpkins. some. It's October. We need to get some pumpkins. Yeah. We need to get yeah. some pumpkins. There's That'll be a pumpkins. whole separate video. That would be fun. Okay. All right. Good stuff. Frankie. Yes. The Whoops Blade, that's the standout. Claimsies. I think we're going to be fighting over it. Yes. You can have the Fox Edge. No, you can. <laughs> what they say it was, it was a less than $20 knife. Mm, yeah, it should be. It should be. <laughs> no, it's considered a $32.99 knife. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll argue with that off camera. Yes. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.